so we meet again and today I'm going to do a video that's highly requested okay. it's on my skincare routines a lot of skincare products that I use every day are mainly the ones that I make at home so I don't really spend a lot on my skincare but I do like to use quality ingredients so I will show you a lot of tips that I use for every day a lot of secrets if you may uh, that help skin retain the moisture, the hydration that it requires, also help keep the skin luminous. So if you like that sort of a thing, you're going to enjoy this video. So <laughs> the most important thing in skincare, according to me, is cleansing. So every morning I begin by cleansing my face and I really like to use natural cleanser rather than a market board cleanser and there's an Indian secret ingredient and that's oh basin which literally is chickpea flour and don't panic if you don't know what basin or chickpea flour is and where to get it you can really easily get it at your local friendly Indian grocery store and they'll be able to help you out just let them know that you're looking for chickpea flour and you should be okay the first thing I do is I actually this container is quite funny I keep yes I actually keep this container in my bathroom and this has equal proportions of the chickpea flour and milk powder and this is what it looks like it's quite powdery and the basin the chickpea flour has this gritty texture so it's great for exfoliation now one thing I do want to emphasize is you don't want to use it around your eyes because around your eyes the skin is very sensitive and you don't really want to use something that has a bit of gritty texture to it so I use it mainly on my face and my neck and sometimes I actually take it to shower and I use it as a whole body wash and it works amazing. I, I try to use that on my whole body once in a week because it's sort of like a luxury that I like to indulge in. So what I do is I push a little bit on my palm and I drop a few drops of water and then I make a paste, like rub it between my palms and then I smooth it onto my face and I gently scrub it in circular motions. So and chickpea flour is high in protein, so it's great to provide nourishment to your skin. A lot of you have asked me how to cure uneven skin tone and this is the answer guys. Ever since I started using it, I have noticed tremendous difference in my skin and I don't really need to use that much foundation on my skin because my skin already looks quite even. So that is great way to begin your day. So when my face is nice and dry, I then like to apply rosehip oil as a serum. It is amazing. The one that I use is by Sukin. It's an Australian natural skincare brand. You can really use any brand that you like. It comes in a dropper bottle like this and it is amazing. You know, we've been told that oils are bad for the skin and we shouldn't really use it. Not this oil really. It actually gets absorbed into the skin in no time at all. Leaving behind this beautiful luminosity that you see on the skin. It's rich in essential fatty acids and vitamins, which is great for your skin. So if you want to provide nourishment to your skin, that's the best way to start. And I actually have dry skin, normal to dry skin, and it's a great way for me to prep my skin before I put my sunscreen on in the morning. For those of you who have oily skin, you really don't need any of the moisturizer after that. You just need two drops of rosehip oil and you're good to go. Apply it all over your face, especially underneath your eyes and around your eyes and around your mouth. That's when you find a lot of darkness or uneven skin tone and it works amazing. The reason why I chose rosehip oil as opposed to argan oil is because argan oil is very expensive. It's almost double the price of rosehip oil. Also, it's rarer to find so I would have to go online to purchase it and through websites that I don't know, don't even know if they're authentic, so I kind of doubt that. Also, I have noticed that rosehip oil and argan oil are very similar in terms of the nutrients, um, the vitamins and essential fatty acids that they have. So, like I said, you can use any brand of rosehip oil and it works amazing. You want to go for something that says 100% rosehip oil. Uh, the sunscreen I use is Invisible Zinc sunscreen and it is a physical sunscreen because it has zinc oxide as the main ingredient. I have used a lot of sunscreen and I find that Invisible Zinc sunscreen really goes on to this invisible finish and I don't really see the white, uh, you know, it's how sunscreen leave behind this white uh, film on your skin and it is more obvious on people with tan skin like me. So I really love uh, using the sunscreen. Also people with pale skin, my friends have loved it and it just goes on to this dry finish which makes applying makeup on your skin right after this a dream really. 
my time, my main priority is to take the makeup off completely because I really can't, even if I'm really tired, no matter how hard I try, I really can't go to bed with my makeup on. I, I just like to take it all off properly. And not that it's, it feels heavy or anything. It just makes me feel better when I clean it off and I like to pamper my skin a little bit. It just feels so much nicer. And I'm going to let you all in on a secret. This is what I do to take my makeup off every night. And the secret is ridiculously cheap grapeseed oil that you can buy it from your supermarket. It's so easy to find. For those of you with oily skin, don't panic because it's not going to make a skin break out. When you have oily skin, you try to take, you, you try to use a lot of harsh cleansers on your skin and what that ends up doing is it gives signal to your skin cells saying that more oil needs to be produced. So your skin actually ends up producing more oil than it had to begin with. So it gives you more oily skin. But when you take off your makeup in a gentle way, your skin doesn't get disturbed. So the balance of your skin is retained like that. And what I do is is I take a little bit of grapeseed oil on my palm, my fingers really, and then I rub it gently between my fingers like that, and then I smooth it onto my face and massage it in. And you won't believe it guys, if you wear waterproof mascara like I do, this takes off waterproof mascara like it's nothing. It just melts it away. It's amazing. And then I take just a red cotton wool and I take it all off and every single bit of makeup comes off. And if at a time I feel that my skin is already really good and it doesn't need further moisture, then I leave it like that. But if I feel that after applying rosehip oil that my face needs further moisture, then I apply a moisturizer. You guys can apply any moisturizer. The one I go for is by Sukin and it impressed me so much. I am so impressed with Sukin because it has so many natural ingredients. I am a kind of person who has always been very into natural skincare products. So I really do appreciate a brand that does a lot of natural skincare and Sukin does. So that's pretty much all I do really guys. I like things to be really simple and I don't really like to load my skin up with a lot of skin products. I love to pamper my skin because it makes the skin look so beautiful and makes you feel like a princess. And so I do make a lot of homemade face packs. So thumbs up this video if you want me to do more videos on how you can make homemade face packs to make your skin more luminous, glowy, and to have even skin tones. If you want me to do videos like that, definitely thumbs up or co and comment below as well so I will know that you guys want me to do it and I will do such videos. So I hope this video helped you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!